While pockets of the Panhandle have received needed rains over the last few weeks, its total rainfall from June 1, 2012 until May 31, 2013 is less than half of what many areas of east and southeast Nebraska recorded over the same period. As some irrigating regions will face allocations this growing season, we talked about those limits this week with Dennis Strau from the Pathfinder Irrigation District. Um, our district basically states, starts at the Wyoming Nebraska state line and, and runs about approximately 100 miles east to near Bridgeport, Nebraska. Uh, we provide irrigation water to about 100,000 acres in Nebraska surface water. We also deliver to about 15,000 acres in Wyoming under a contract we have with those districts. Just for perspective, what's the need for allocation along this region? Uh, normally, if we have a full irrigation supply, our average usage is um, in the 16 to 20 inch range, depending on how much rainfall we get. But in a short year, why do you need to ratchet that down? Well, in a short year, our, our allotment uh, this year um, our water supply is, is in about the 60% range. So our allotment to our producers right now is 13 inches. We're still receiving some runoff from uh, snow melt in the mountains, um, which we hope will help increase that supply and, and help us uh, stretch out and maybe allocate another two or three inches if, if it's available. So that's 13 inches per acre, essentially? Per acre, yes. How does that compare to what you saw last year around this time? Well, I guess I go back to 2011. 2011, we have water being released down the river the entire irrigation season. The end of the season with uh, above normal carryover in the reservoirs, everything looked really rosy for surface water irrigators here in the valley. And then uh, last year hit, uh, extremely dry, extremely hot. Our irrigation demand come in in late in mid-May and it uh, hung in there most of the season. We, we did uh, shut off delivery September 10th, but our water usage was probably pretty close to 20 inches or maybe even above a little bit. Was there any desire from a crop producer for preseason irrigation or uh, you know, from a producer who's using it maybe on pasture or range or alfalfa to do some early season irrigation this year? Yeah, we've had, we had inquiries from producers about trying to have water available in May for irrigation of alfalfa and wheat and uh, some pre-irrigation. Uh, we did luck out and get some precipitation in April from a couple of big snowstorms that hit our area, which uh, kind of reduced that demand. And as a result, we didn't come in in May. We were able to hold off our irrigation supply and save it for later in the season to try to finish a crop. For irrigators in your district, what's the emphasis? What do you uh, want to make sure to point out to them? We really want to emphasize the fact that this is extremely short water supply and, and encourage them to use their water wisely. I mean, we, we allocate uh, per acre basis, so it's like a checking account for them. They draw on it when they want to, they can shut off when they want to to conserve, and uh, we encourage them to work with the district to try to maximize that supply. Our hope is to try to get to the end of August. Whether we can get there or not it is going to depend on what kind of gains we get uh, the rest of the season. For producers that would go over, I mean, what are the repercussions, what, for, whether it be individually or for other producers along the line? Uh, if they exceed their allocation, right. um, they are shut off. Uh, we, ha we have no choice. We have to provide a, an equitable distribution of the water supply. So uh, if a producer uses his water supply, we have to shut him off. If we allocate additional supply, we'll of course turn him back on uh, to use that if they'd like to. 13 acre inches per year. Are you confident that that's going to get us a little ways into the season at this point? Uh, right now, we think we can make um, hopefully the middle of August. We're hoping that the gains that come uh, the rest of the season as far as runoff from uh, some high snow still in the mountains might get us another week or two and get us to the end of the season. We also have looked at possibly borrowing water from the Bureau of Reclamation uh, from a Kendrick project up by Casper. They have some extra water available this year that we maybe can borrow. We have to repay it next year and there's of course costs associated with that. but. We may have to look at that as an option. We have uh, contacted the Bureau and expressed an interest in possibly borrowing water if we need to.